U.S. oil refineries provide crucial resources by processing crude oil into products such as gas, diesel, jet fuel, and asphalt. What a refinery is, is a factory for turning this kind of combustible material into this kind of other kind of combustible and potentially explosive material. So you're talking about an industry that you really have to be careful. These complexes are filled with highly flammable chemicals, which are heated to convert them into useful products. But the vessels and pipes carrying these volatile materials get stressed and weakened over time due to high pressures and heat. Engineers inspect refinery pipes on a regular basis for corrosion and breakdown in hopes of preventing accidents. Corrosion itself will, cannot be changed. It will always happen. Uh, so one thing that we could do is monitor the corrosion over time. And if we know the rate of corrosion, we could prevent accidents like in the Silver Eagle refinery by knowing that this is a good time for uh, pipes to be replaced. This is a good time for pipes to be in operation. But sometimes regular inspections are not enough. On April 2, 2010, a massive explosion inside the Tesoro refinery in Anacortes, Washington, kills seven employees. As investigators comb through the debris to find the cause of the explosion, they discover a four-foot crack in a nearly 40-year-old heat exchanger vessel. The rupture caused hydrogen and naphtha vapor to leak from the vessel and ignite once it hit oxygen. Just days before the explosion, the heat exchanger was shut down to be cleaned. The crack occurred while it was being put back into operation and heated up again. Refinery fires and explosions are always going to be a concern. As long as we are attempting to collect fuels from petroleum distillates, we're, we're tempting fate because we're trying to collect materials which are naturally flammable and explosive. And these kinds of incidents happen on a fairly regular basis all around the world.